How could you be making doctor level money from selling free websites? Funny thing is these websites are copy and paste templates, but I'm not seeing anyone do this correctly. This exact model took me from brokey employee sleeping on a mattress on the floor to now being a full time traveling digital nomad. The problem with freelancers is one month they might make a couple thousand dollars, maybe even $5,000, $6,000 by selling a couple websites sites. But then the next month, they're back to zero. There's no predictable and steady income consistently coming in. I'm going to give you my whole process here that took me years to figure out. And if you really understand the fourth step, it'll give you that aha moment and it'll all make sense. This is our process. The first step is finding clients that actually need your services. The next step is to find proven ways to reach out to those potential customers. Then I'm going to show you how to make sales easy. And after that, I will show you how to provide multiple services and monthly reoccurring income in which you can charge 150 a month, 300 a month, one to $2,000 per month, even $4,000. That's a slightly higher ticket service. And I'll tell you the order that you should do it in as well as give you my biggest tip at the bottom here. So let's dive in. So the first thing you want to do before actually diving into this is pick a niche, pick an industry. I've provided a spreadsheet here that you can scroll through and don't overthink this. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Here are some common niches. Pick anyone. If you want to pick a niche based on who spends the most money, I also have a sheet in here that I was able to extract from a lead generation website and all of these businesses are spending X amount of dollars per lead. So what you can do is download this, you can categorize it by most amount of money spent, take a look at this, and it'll give you a rough good idea of how much one lead, one potential customer is worth to that business. So step one, you can reach out to clients from Google Maps, or if you wanna automate that a little bit, you can use a tool that's called Outscraper. On Google Maps, it's pretty simple. You're going to go and then just type in that industry, and then you can scroll down to the bottom and actually take a look at who doesn't have a website. This is the less scalable way. I prefer using a tool like Outscraper and then having a nice spreadsheet of all the businesses in a certain location. This is Outscraper. This is where we are going to find the clients. You can hit sign up or log in at the top right. Just join the free version. You should be able to get some leads out of that. After you make that free account, it's going to look like this. And all you have to do is go under categories and brands and just put that industry down in this section, put in the area that you might want to find clients right here. Very simple, hit get data, and it's going to give you a nice spreadsheet. Once you download that spreadsheet, it's going to look something like this. And all I've done is I went to this site column and I just organized it by who doesn't have a website. And now we have a bunch of information from plumbers that don't have a website, but we have all their contact information. We even have their address. We have their Google My Business profile. We have how many reviews they have on Google. We have everything that we need to start reaching out to them, which leads into the next point. What is the best way to reach out to these potential customers? I'm going to give you the proven script that we have right here. So let's take a look at what that says. It says, hey, are you still open? Question mark. I tried to look up your website and see reviews when searching for a roofer in blank. So in our example, I'm using Las Vegas, so I would put that in there, but couldn't find one. This is a bit random, but I decided to build you one. Would it be cool if I send you a link to the new website on this email? Let me know if you like it. Now, before you have any objection about I'm not building free websites, that's not what we're doing. All we're doing is importing a template here from inside Go High Level and then just putting their logo on top of it. If you want everything imported into your account and just copy and paste everything that we've built with a click, you can now do that. It's working like crazy, not just for me, but we've proven that this works for people with all kinds of experience levels and backgrounds. In fact, Go High Level themselves rated us the number one course because of the results that we get for people and the support that we give. I'm gonna show you A to Z, how to get clients, deliver results, grow your business, and then even hire employees to run it all for you. I'll even talk to you on Zoom and answer questions to make sure that you succeed. If you want all this for free, go to laptopceo.com or check the link in the description. I mean, there's every niche that you could want inside the template library right here. So it makes it very easy to have a beautiful website 
with their logo at the top. And so we're providing results in advance, which leads into the next point. What is the best way to reach out to these businesses? You can cold call them. You can send them SMS messages. You can do voicemail drops. You could do emails or you can send them a DM. I have tons of other videos covering these strategies on the channel. In fact, I have me live cold calling as well. You can check that out after this video. It doesn't really matter. The most important thing is you reach out to them and give them this offer that they cannot refuse. So after they reply back to your email, your DM, or your call, what we wanna do is we wanna create one sub account within Go High Level. And the way you're gonna do that is by going inside of your Go High Level account. You can hit sub accounts, hit create new sub account here, and you wanna fill out a blank snapshot. And in this one sub account, you wanna call that website in a day. That's what I call this program. And every single person you reach out to that shows a little bit of interest, we're gonna have all their websites listed nicely. You don't want to create a different account for each person yet because they're not a client, right? You might have 50 websites in this account. So it's going to get a little bit messy. Then once you have that set up, you can go over to the template section, type in that niche. I'm going to type in plumber here because that's the niche that I'm going after. As you can see, it's already a nice website. If you want, you can replace some of the text on here, but I would just leave it as is, put their logo on, and that's all you have to do. Next thing you want to do is import the one website template like we just covered. If you are going to replace content, use chat GPT. You want to keep it real simple. You want to make sure it's fast. This is done best with volume and with a lot of speed. So don't focus on being a perfectionist of every little section of the website. Because remember, once we have this plumbing website built out one time with some content on ChatGPT, if someone else responds to us, we can use that same website template with their logo at the top and we can reuse it. Next one is duplicate, add logo, top of website, and then you wanna show them on Zoom. And the reason that I say to show them on Zoom versus just send them a link is because now you have an opportunity to diagnose their business and up sell them different services, look into their reviews, look into how fast they're responding to their potential customers. Look at their Google My Business. You have all this opportunity to sell them something. Plus, sales is always easier if you're just showing them something and they have a face, they have a voice to the name. So don't try to sell this strictly on email. Call them, jump on Zoom, which is where you're going to show them the website for the first time. Next, we have the monthly services section. So the most basic one is you just give them a website. You can charge anything for this, but I suggest to charge somewhere between one to $200 per month just to continue using this website. Now, if you want, you can also make this a free website for them for the first 30 days, meaning you integrate it with their domain. If they don't have a domain, you can help them purchase that. And then you start charging them after that first month. The reason people are okay with paying one to $200 per month for a website, because it's really nothing in the grand scheme of things. In fact, if you look over to our spreadsheet that we have, some of these people like basement remodels, they're spending anywhere from 80 to $130 for one potential customer to come in. Do you think it's going to be an easy sale to sell them a website that can help them get a lot of customers as you help them with Google reviews and they're ranking a little bit higher on Google? Yes, of course. These people are used to spending money. Even someone like this who's doing patio covers, which is one little sub niche. They probably provide a bunch of services. They're already used to spending money. So why not just spend that money with you? If you want to see more sales tips, I do have other videos around that and actually live sales calls of me closing clients on the channel. Here are the simple services that you can charge $300 per month for. So this is going to be SaaS. This is all the services that Go High Level offers. I'm talking lead follow-up, chatbots, Google reviews, database reactivation, and even missed call text back. These are very easy to set up and very easy to sell them. Hey, Mr. Plumber, do you ever get calls that go to your voicemails? How long does it take you to respond to them? Oh, it takes you 10 hours. What if I can automatically text them immediately and save that lead from calling your competitor? Because if someone has a leak 
from their ceiling, they're not going to wait 10 hours for you to call them back. They're going to move on to the next guy. So let's text them. Let's give them an opportunity to stay within your company. And again, going back to our point, how much is one potential customer worth to you? Is it $20? Is it 30? Is it a hundred? Is it 200? This stuff is really valuable and it's easy to sell once you can see the return on investment for that business owner. Database reactivation, very easy. All you're going to do is get a list of their past customers and then send them an email, send them a text. If you work with massage therapists, hey, you can take all their past customers and just email them or text them. Hey, get 10% off your next massage when you come back into our studio. Very easy. They're going to get a bunch of clients from that and then they're going to love you, especially if you're offering that free trial. Google reviews. Obviously, this is very important. It's their online reputation. Chatbots, which is a widget on their website that you can add and you can even attach AI to it if you'd like. Next, let's talk about the advanced services. I'm talking SEO, Google My Business or Google Business Profile SEO, Google Ads, Facebook Ads, marketing services as a whole. I started off my first couple clients, we charged a couple hundred dollars for this because I didn't know what I was doing. Then we charged 500. And then after a couple more, we charged a thousand. And now for over three years, we've been charging 1500 a month. And just this year, we increased it to $2,000 per month. And that does not include ad spend. That is just service fee, meaning coming to our company. Plus they're spending an extra $50 per day on ads. These customers do exist and they're all around you. You'll be shocked as you get people on the phone and you speak with them. You'll see there's people spending four, five, six, ten thousand dollars $10,000 on marketing, on TV ads, on radio ads. So this is a great upsell. It just takes more skill to actually sit down and learn these services. Next is a custom website. So if they want something that is much more custom than you are offering in your website in a day, they're going to have to pay for that. I've sold websites for four to $6,000 to local businesses. In fact, I have a live sales call of me closing a client for 4,000. You can absolutely do this. And this is where you can go in and make it all custom and put their text and you specifically write it for them. And you can customize the H1 tags and all that fancy stuff is going to be done on a $4,000 website. You can build this in another platform or keep it in go high level. That's completely up to you. And my biggest tip to you is find what they need and sell them that. So don't come into the call trying to sell them Google ads or missed call text back. If they're telling you they're responding to all their potential customers instantly, maybe missed call text back is not what they need. Sell them another feature. If you just focus on one, you can charge $300 a month just for that. 